right, what's up, Scorpio? This is going to be a daily. I call it a daily because it's for whatever day that you may see it. But it's Monday. I think it's December 7th. But regardless, y'all started off with justice in reverse. Seven of Wands. Clarifying that. So, honestly, feel like it's something you're trying to protect. But it seems to keep getting attacked for some. It could be related to a relationship. A home. For some, if it's related to a legal issue. But for most, I honestly feel like it's a relationship, a connection, either romantic or family related. But with the five of swords under the ten of cups, it's kind of like people are being invasive when it comes to something. I honestly feel like with the magician, the moon coming out after that is talking about accountability so it's saying that you're feeding a monster so it could be related to a person in a relationship maybe you open the door or allowed for a situation to be open and now you can't close it or you want it to be exclusive but you already gave the green light for the person to <laughs> do other things that's what i'm getting with the moon over underneath the magician it's something that you did not to blame you it's not like about blame it's just about accountability that's what it's saying because it's saying you manifested something or you open a portal to allow a person or people into your situation um whether it's like complaining about your person to the that person or people or allowing your person to fuck around with another person or people or y'all could have been friends with benefits and you was cool with that until you wasn't cool with it it's going to be different for different people but um your advice being the magician in the moon is telling you to be mindful about what you manifest or create because people like to talk about other people's karma but I like to forget about their karma like what they create that's what i'm getting last cards out is the um king of swords and the devil and i got made scorpio on my chart so i'm not like <laughs> against scorpio and just talking shit like got venus and scorpio pluto and scorpio but anyway most likely the outcome being the king of swords and the devil is telling you you're eventually gonna have to cut out something toxic or a toxic person. The King of Swords is a person. It can represent a person who's emotionally detached. With the devil there, they're draining. So they probably like to receive a lot of um, emotion. But they don't like to give it. Or they like to receive a lot of passion, energy, effort from you. But they don't like to give it. Hmm. So you're going to have to address this devil or this monster. <laughs> but don't feed the monster. Um, eventually, anyway. If you want this five of swords energy to go away, this justice to turn around upright. So, hold on. Let me pull from the angels and ancestors. traitor in the moon i got traitor even though it's spelled like traitor it's talking about um exchange energy and create abundance it automatically made me think of traitor with the t so that's reminded me of this five of swords energy so somebody being a traitor needs to be cut out it could be a relationship partner it could be this king of swords um, or people who you trusted in your situation. Now you see you can't trust them. But with the moon, it says take note of intuitive messages. The moon came out already here. The moon really represents the unseen, the, the unknown, the hidden. But when it came out in the oracle, it's talking about trusting your intuition. So just know that there's more to a situation 
it's definitely more secrets that you don't know about with this devil king of swords person and it's definitely I feel like secret motives hidden agendas related to this person <laughs> that's what it's pretty much saying so Scorpio is repeating itself the cards are repeating themselves with the moon coming out twice and the traitor so I'm guessing it's the end of the reading but hopefully y'all enjoyed thanks for watching peace